Hello and welcome. I'm Master Lama Rasaji, and this is our Saturday edition of Rasaji Speaks. It's not too late to register for Master David's wonderful live class this morning at nine o'clock Mountain Time. Be sure to check it out because they have a tendency to work on the Tai Chi forum quite a bit on Saturday. Let's look at the subject matter for today's soulful creations connecting with the inner artist, right? Interesting. I've noticed the more that people tap into the Tai Chi Gong exercises, the more stimulated their right brain starts to become. Actually, after about six or 18 months, they start getting very, very creative, even if they wouldn't consider themselves a right brain, creative kind of individual. I saw that happen to Master David himself about 36, 37 years ago, if you can imagine. Yes, it's true. I think so it is. You know, people are trying to challenge the Lama all the time. It's amazing the advice and the feedback that I get from people who maybe they spent a few months doing this or maybe feeling a, a few years. Do I take advice from people? Yeah. The Lama Siri, Master David. From time to time, I'll reach out with different people in our organization about what they have strengthens. And then also I advise them to stay out of what they do not have the strength is, but sometimes people's ego just can't seem to deal with that. Creativity goes beyond the ego. That's a beautiful thing, right? I had recently a birthday card come to me as one of our students, beautiful soul, that lives out in the Northwest right now. She came to her first event in Tucson, and she'd been listening to different Risaji Speaks where we're talking about taking the musician, the artist, the poet out of the closet. Jesus said, take your candle from behind the bush. Maybe he's thinking about that candle. And she literally painted me a postcard as a birthday card with a scene from the Southwest. It actually looked like it could be Arizona. It's absolutely gorgeous, like an impressionist art, you know, like Monet, the French painter. It's one of the things I put up every day. I had some other student that did a photograph that looks similar. And I put these cards up every day thinking about these people. And it makes me focus when it's time to work because I work at the countertop. You see, I work standing up. I don't do much sitting down anymore. Now that my hip is fixed, I'm going back to what I used to do before it started to give me a fit. And that was, I stand up because it's amazing what you generate in your brain when you're not sitting on your fanny all the time, you know? So it's an interesting thing. I stand up, was taught to stand out because that's what Hunnaman does. He's standing in his authority all the time. Try that. Be creative, right? A good what place to start is start where I taught Chin to start. Chin draws and paints now all the time. Just start drawing a figure eight and see what happens, right? If you haven't drawn in many years or you've never drawn before, just take your pencil and paper out and start drawing the figure eight and see what spirit brings to mind to you, you might be shocked. Might be a good idea to start drawing a figure eight over here and have a blank sheet of paper over here. And when you do that, you might be shocked at what transfers from this page to that page, right? 
you got to remember, start, go slow can be applied to everything. Creativity really opens the power center, the throat chakra, which is also our authority center, our creative center. This is an important chakra, as all of them are, of course, but this one determines how much energy you will even allow in your physical body. That's why when Lamaji chants, that's why you feel the power of the chant because it's opening you up to energy. It's very profound. Shaktipat comes a lot with the chanting by a real master who's been chanting for a while. Just in this lifetime alone, I've been doing it for almost six decades, right? How long you've been chanting, right? How long you've been doing Tai Chi Gong? How long you've been teaching and sharing Tai Chi Gong? How long have you been sharing your art? The more you embrace your siddhanas, your spiritual practices, which include our Tai Chi Gong exercise, especially the swim and especially the figure eight, you'll really start to balance your right and left hemisphere of the brain. And you're going to find out that it brings forth your creativity in things that we do. Baraka Bashat, may the blessings be to you and to your glorious family. Have a wonderful weekend. Worship your God. Love on your family. Be a blessing to someone. Can't be that exact blessing to themselves. We have a few days of July left, it's hard to believe we're getting ready to move into the last five months of the dragon, right? The dragon's energy, the snake is around the corner. We'll be talking more about the snake as the fall comes. Totally different animal, different kind of chi that we're going to find. Remember, we soared in 24 we're going to arrive in 25. Barack Take care of yourself. See you soon.